Today we have some new numbers on how our summer housing market is looking in Washington. Definitely check out the link in our bio for the full post that has our recent market report and home demand index report because they have some really interesting charts and graphs. So what is the summer market? It's a less predictable time of year, kind of sandwiched between our pretty fast paced intense spring market and then our fall market, which is a little bit of a rebound from a slower summer period. And typically this is our slower summer market is July and August, but this year we saw an earlier onset with slower conditions starting in early June. And interestingly, when we compared this June to last June, we saw that sales were down 12.2% in the DC area and active listings were up almost 22%. So there are a lot more homes on the market for buyers right now. Now, despite higher inventory levels and slower sales, prices on average have continued to rise. So year over year, the median sales price is up 6.7%. The important thing to keep in mind is that these are all averages. And so they don't take into consideration the nuances or differences between some of our different sub markets that have different factors affecting them. Interest rates have remain pretty steady throughout the second quarter of 2024. And so that's not a big cause or an increase in rates isn't the cause of the decrease in sales, but it is likely that the prolonged rates in the 7% range are playing a role. So DC in particular of all of our local markets had some really interesting numbers. So closed sales are down 24.2% year over year. That's like a quarter less homes being sold. Active listings are up 29% year over year. So there's 30% more options for buyers today. And median prices are up 17.9% year over year. So that's where we're like, hmm, if active listings are up, shouldn't prices be down? Well, if closed sales are also down, then that kind of helps to keep prices consistent. But I think what it also means is while we have prices going down in some markets, we have prices going up in others. So the other interesting thing to look at is demand because the factors that influence demand really are what create these variations in our different markets. And I think this has been some of the most interesting data that I have seen this summer. And that is that demand for row homes and single family homes priced below 535,000. So that's primarily like our east of the river markets has been the lowest demand segment of anywhere in DC. While single family homes, detached homes above 1.3 million have had the highest demand of any segment. So that's really interesting because it would seem like, okay, interest rates are high. Maybe our more affordable home markets are going to have more demand. But that just isn't what we've seen. Condo market has been kind of in the middle of those two, which also is interesting because I think one of my projections would have been that condo sales are going to be down because people will just keep renting apartments. It's very similar from a lifestyle standpoint, but we haven't really seen that. Condo market has been strong, pretty stable. All of this is really interesting to me. And I think it's anyone's guess what we'll see in the fall market. I think that will depend a little bit on interest rates. If they hold steady, then I think we'll probably see a less robust and active fall market than we would in prior years or different conditions. But also stay tuned for my next video on what higher market inventory means for sellers, particularly for those that are selling in the lower demand market.